What if I told you that the future of farming could withstand the fiercest droughts, the heaviest rains, and the most unpredictable weather patterns? Welcome to the world of genetic engineering for climate, resistant crops, a realm where science meets sustainability to tackle one of the biggest challenges humanity faces today, climate change. Before we dive deep into this fascinating topic, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Also, let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Now, let's explore genetic engineering for climate, resistant crops. Imagine a world where farmers can grow crops that are not only plentiful but also resilient to the change in climate. It sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? However, this is becoming a reality as scientists are harnessing the power of genetic engineering to create crops that can thrive in extreme condition. Genetic engineering involves the direct manipulation of an organism's DNA to achieve desired traits. In the context of climate, resistant crops, this means altering the genetic makeup of plants to enhance their ability to survive and produce yields under adverse climate condition. This is a significant leap from traditional breeding methods, which can take decades to achieve similar results. The first aspect we need to understand is the science behind genetic engineering. To create climate-resistant crops, scientists identify genes responsible for traits such as drought tolerance, heat resistance, and flood resilience. These genes are then introduced into the crops using techniques such as CRISPR, a powerful tool for editing genomes with precision. Unlike traditional genetic modification, which often involves inserting new genes from other organisms, CRISPR allows for the precise editing of an organism's existing genes, making it a more refined and efficient method. One of the most notable successes in this field is the development of drought-resistant maize. Maize, or corn, is a staple crop for millions of people around the world. Drought can severely impact maize yields, leading to food shortages and economic instability. By identifying and introducing drought-resistant genes into maize, Scientists have created varieties that can withstand prolonged dry periods without significant yield loss. This breakthrough not only ensures food security but also supports farmers whose livelihoods depend on stable crop production. Heat resistance is another crucial area of focus. As global temperatures rise, many crops struggle to grow in the increased heat. Wheat is a prime example. It is a staple food for billions but is sensitive to high temperatures which can reduce its yield and quality. Through genetic engineering, scientists have developed heat-resistant wheat varieties that maintain high yields even in hotter climates. This advancement is crucial for ensuring food supply in regions where temperatures are rising rapidly. Flood resilience is equally important, especially in areas prone to heavy rainfall and flooding. Rice, a staple food for over half of the world's population, is particularly susceptible to flooding. Researchers have identified genes that allow rice plants to survive complete submersion for extended periods, a condition that would normally lead to crop failure. By incorporating these genes into rice varieties, scientists have created flood-resistant rice that can endure and thrive despite extreme water conditions. While these examples highlight the potential of genetic engineering, it is essential to consider the broader implications and challenges. Ethical concerns, regulatory obstacles, and public perception are significant factors that influence the development and adoption of genetically engineered crops. Addressing these issues requires transparent communication, rigorous safety testing, and policies that balance innovation with precaution. Ethically, there are debates around the manipulation of natural organisms and the potential long-term impacts on ecosystems. Critics argue that altering the genetic makeup of crops could have unforeseen consequences, such as the development of superweeds or the disruption of local biodiversity. To mitigate these risks, scientists conduct extensive research and testing to ensure that genetically engineered crops are safe for the environment and human consumption. Regulatory bodies play a crucial role in this process, setting stringent guidelines and standards that must be met before these crops can be commercially produced and distributed. Public perception is another critical challenge. Despite the scientific consensus on the safety and benefits of genetically engineered crops, 
there remains a considerable amount of skepticism and opposition. Much of this stems from misinformation and a lack of understanding about genetic engineering. To bridge this gap, scientists and policymakers must engage in open and honest dialogue with the public, providing clear and accurate information about the science, benefits and risks involved. Now, let's discuss the practical application. In addition to ensuring food security, climate, resistant crops offer several other benefits. For instance, they can reduce the need for chemical inputs such as pesticides and fertilizers, which are not only costly but also harmful to the environment. By enhancing the natural resilience of crops, genetic engineering can promote more sustainable and eco-friendly farming practices. Another significant advantage is the potential for economic stability. Climate change disproportionately affects smallholder farmers, who often lack the resources to cope with unpredictable weather pattern. Climate-resistant crops can offer a lifeline, enabling these farmers to maintain their livelihoods and support their communities. This can have a ripple effect, contributing to rural development and poverty alleviation. Moreover, genetic engineering for climate Resistant crops can also aid in preserving biodiversity. Traditional agricultural practices often involve monoculture, the cultivation of a single crop variety over large area. This reduces genetic diversity and makes crops more susceptible to pests and diseases. By developing a range of climate-resistant varieties, genetic engineering can encourage more diverse farming systems that are better equipped to withstand environmental stresses. Let's look at some real-world examples to illustrate these points further. In Africa, the water-efficient maize for Africa project has developed drought-tolerant maize varieties that are now being planted across several countries. These varieties have shown remarkable resilience to dry conditions, helping farmers achieve consistent yields despite challenging climate. This project is a testament to how genetic engineering can address specific regional needs and enhance food security on a large scale. In South Asia, the International Rice Research Institute has developed a variety of rice known as scuba rice, which can survive prolonged flooding. This innovation has been a game changer for farmers in flood-prone areas, enabling them to harvest crops even after severe waterlogging. By providing a reliable food source, scuba rice has improved the livelihoods of millions and contributed to regional stability. Closer to home, researchers in the United States have developed heat-tolerant tomato varieties. Tomatoes are sensitive to high temperatures, which can lead to reduced fruit set and lower yields. These genetically engineered varieties maintain high productivity, even in hot climates, ensuring a steady supply of this essential crop. This development is particularly significant, given the increasing frequency and intensity of heat waves. As we can see, the impact of genetic engineering for climate, resistant crops is far-reaching. However, it is crucial to continue investing in research and development to keep pace with the evolving challenges posed by climate change. This includes exploring new genetic traits, improving existing technologies and fostering collaboration between scientists, farmers and policymakers. It is also important to consider the socio important to consider the socio-economic aspects of this technology. Access to genetically engineered crops should be equitable, ensuring that smallholder farmers and marginalized communities benefit from these advancements. Initiatives that provide seeds, training and resources to these groups can play a vital role in achieving this goal. To sum up, genetic engineering for climate, resistant crops, represents a promising solution to one of the most pressing issues of our time. By leveraging the power of science, we can create crops that not only withstand the impacts of climate change but also promote sustainability, economic stability and food security. It is a field that holds immense potential, and with continued innovation and responsible practices, we can look forward to a future where agriculture thrives in harmony with the environment. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the future of farming. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. We'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions, so be sure to leave a comment below. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.